Hi everyone, we're here at the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music and we have an amazing concert lined up for you tonight. These live performances are made possible by ticket sales. We encourage you to make a donation online in lieu of purchasing a ticket. Your contribution also helps us with instrument repair, ensemble touring, bringing guest artists to campus, purchasing music, and enhancing our classroom technology. So please either scan the QR code or click the link in the description. All right, it's almost time for the show. So grab a seat, or rather, your comfiest spot on the couch, and thank you for supporting us here at the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music.
Thank you very much, and uh, welcome to our performance today. We've got a special day of music ahead of you, and that's why a lot of you are here to hear the fabulous Ernie Watts, and we've had a wonderful time with him, and he'll be coming out in a couple of tunes here. The tune you just heard was called Home Basie. That's a Bob Menzer tune, and you heard from Cameron Hertz on baritone saxophone. That's all of Cameron's family out there. Uh, Andrew Rosenblum on guitar. And on tenor sax, you heard from Alexander Jones. And you're not done hearing from Alexander Jones. He's going to play in this next tune. It's a, it's a piece that was written by a wonderful writer, piano player, trumpet player. His name is George Stone. He wrote this chart called The Good Life. You'll hear from Alexander. And also, Fernando is going to be playing some muted trumpet stuff on, on The Good Life.
Thank you very much. That was the Good Life by George Stone. That also featured uh, Andrew Rosenblum on Shaker. Yeah. Well, we've got a tune right now that definitely wasn't planned, but we had a very nice surprise. One of my students said to me, hey, guess what? So-and-so is here. And I said, wow, that's cool, because we have one of his charts we're going to play. Back in the back there is Tom Kubis, our good friend and one of our proudest alums of uh, Cal State Long Beach. And if you feel so inclined, we're going to be uh, sharing the stage with Tom's band tomorrow at the Gas Lamp on PCH. And it's always a pleasure to have you here, Tom, to hear our band because you mean so much to me and to, to our students. So thank you for being here. So this is Tom's, he always has great titles for his charts. It's going to feature Brandon Whitehurst on piano and Noah Johnson on tenor sax. And this is called Theme in Search of a Spy Movie.
Brandon Whitehurst once again, and Noah Johnson. And the composer, Tom Kubis. See, he's clapping for himself. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. That, didn't that really make you feel like you're in a spy movie? I, I just could see, like, Sean Connery or Roger Moore or Pierce Brosnan or Daniel Craig or... There's a lot of them, George Lazenby. There's a whole bunch of them there, and they were all in that chart. They are all in. Anyway, we have a quick pause while we're waiting uh, for our uh, guest artist to come out. And uh, what I'd like to do at this time, and this is a bittersweet thing that I have to do every year, but I, I love doing it, and I hate doing it at the same time, and that's saying goodbye to some people that will be graduating. It's going to be particularly easy with this group because there's only one. He's graduating, and he's making the logical transition from an undergraduate degree in bassoon performance to a jazz degree in piano performance. Please give some a round of applause to Brandon Whitehurst. I really should have had him play a bassoon solo on that last tune. I really, that Tom would have just loved it. Yeah, oh yeah, so. I mean, there was one worse than that. I told my band, I was guest soloing up in Canada, and, and this was a surprise to me. I had a whole bunch of students come out before me to take a solo on the blues, and a girl came out and played a killing solo. She was our lead alto player. She was playing bagpipes, <laughs> and it sounded great. Thank God the tune was in B-flat, because those things don't have any tuning slide on them. So anyway, um, I would like to bring somebody very, very special to the stage. Uh, back in 1974, a gentleman by the name of John Prince started the jazz program here at Cal State Long Beach. And it was one of the, I think it was the first in California, and it was one of the first in the nation to have an undergraduate degree in jazz studies. And, and later on in 1995, I believe he, they added a master's degree in jazz studies to that. And his, uh, his widow is here with us, um, Coralie Prince, and I'd like to invite her to the stage right now. What we do every year, and this is something I'll, well, you know what, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let Coralie tell you all about it. Yeah, well, first of all, I just love hearing you guys. Uh, it takes me back. Uh, he started here in 72, and then he built the program, and so that, that was like 50 years ago, and I, 52. And I've been so blessed to hear all this great music all these years. He was here 30 years, and then a little after that, Jeff took over, and, and he's just amazing. Let's give a great big hand to Jeff Jarvis. <laughs> but I just feel so fortunate to have seen this building be built and hear all these. And then every time I say, you guys, you know, so many of the students that John had have gone out in the world and they're composers, arrangers, directors, uh, everything. They're, they're in the pit bands everywhere. And we've got two of those people, that at least two that I saw today, that were, can you guys stand up, that were in those bands way back. <laughs> and they are just fantastic. Yeah. It's just such a joy. John put his whole heart and soul into this program, and it's so, it's so exciting to see it continue and go on to different levels. So thank you, Jeff. Um, yeah, I'm just blessed to be part of it, and thank you for having me back, and congratulations to all of you guys on a great year, and I'll see you around in other places, I'm sure. Thank you. Well... To add to that, I had a special feeling uh, just yesterday. Uh, one of my colleagues here, Jimmy Merzian, and Joey Sellers from down at Saddleback uh, College, we were adjudicating at uh, the Fullerton Jazz Festival, and we listened to 13 bands, and five of the bands were led by students that were in this jazz program since we got here. So isn't that amazing? 
almost happened, so I was, I was proud beyond belief. Anyway, getting back to our award here, the person that I chose for this award this year is somebody that's gave a tremendous amount of service to this area in, in many, many ways. He's a, a great musician and a great writer, but he goes beyond being a great musician. He's a great multi-instrumentalist. He plays lead trumpet with the Concert Jazz Orchestra. You see him playing guitar with this band, the Studio Jazz Band, and his main instrument is saxophone. And so the nice part about it is a good multi-instrumentalist, you can't tell what their main instrument is. So I would like to welcome over here Andrew Rosenblum to receive the John Prince Award. The egg shaker is his main instrument, he said. Well, if I can share what Coralie was saying, uh, she gave him a plaque and there's an envelope with a, a letter from her family and a check for $1,000. Yeah. By the way, did I tell you you owe me $1,000 for this award? <laughs> anyway. Um, thank you very much, Coralie, for being a, a continued friend of the program, and thank you, Andrew, for what you've done for us while you've been here. We appreciate it so much. for, and this is exciting for me, I'm going to bore him with a story he's heard way too many times, but 26 years ago, he played on one of my records, and I'm surprised it wasn't right at the top of his bio, I can't, I can't understand why, but, uh, but uh, I, I remember talking with him at a convention, and, and, and we're, I don't know how the subject came up, we started talking about M&Ms, and he asked me, which ones do you like? I said, both of them. He says, me too. And he says, there's protein in the peanuts, so I have that for dinner, and then I have the plain ones for dessert. <laughs> that gives you an idea of what type of personality we're dealing with here. He's generous with his time, with his talent. He's been wonderful with our students. It's been a total learning experience, and I've also seen a few jaws hanging on the floor as they listen to him play. You heard him play, for those of you that are even anywhere near my age, remember hearing him play on the Johnny Carson show in the Doc Severinsen Orchestra, and he's on a million records. And I would like to welcome to the stage, Mr. Ernie Watts.
for those of you that aren't jazz fanatics, that was Wayne Shorter's Footprints, and what a beautiful arrangement that was. And Ernie, how about Ernie Watts? Wow. <laughs> well, the next tune we're going to do, and this will be the, the final tune of the studio jazz band set, is a uh, Cannonball Adderley tune that was arranged by Mike Barone, who wrote many of the Tonight Show short, charts that uh, Ernie played when he was in the band. This is called Wabash. You'll hear from Ernie, from Brandon Whitehurst on piano, formerly on bassoon, and Ben Rifkin on trumpet, and Joseph Chalopoulos on trombone. This is Wabash.
before we take our very quick intermission, I just want to say I should have added one more award, and that would be to Joe Chilopoulos for taking a solo right after Ernie Watts. <laughs> we'll see you in about 10 minutes. <laughs> On the front table there.
Tom Kubis had good titles. The first tune was called This, followed by another tune called That. It was by Neil Slater, uh, deceased now, but a wonderful friend and a great writer, and he ran the program at the University of North Texas for many years, and just a terrific musician. Um, you heard from a whole bunch of people there, so I have two tunes, so I gotta get to it. It was Joshua Childress on tenor sax. And trumpet, Andrew Rosenblum. Ryan Dong on drums. Sam Ross on piano. Joshua Childress on tenor sax on the second tune as well. And on bass, Michael Parcheski. 
Can we have one more tune before we do a couple of quick presentations and then bring out Ernie again? Uh, this next tune is a tune that I wrote a hundred years ago called Riptide, and you're gonna hear from Alex Louie on alto sax and Diego Fernandez Kim on trombone. Riptide. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
You also heard from Joshua Childress on that last tune as well. I didn't announce him in the solo credits. Joshua? And if you thought I was leading the band at the end, uh-uh. Michael Wise on drums was leading the band. Well, real quickly, before we uh, bring Ernie Watts back onto the stage, I wanted to acknowledge our uh, graduating members of this band. And there's more than one, and they don't all play bassoon. Um, this next acknowledgement is, again, it's, it, it's tough to say goodbye to people that you've been working with for four and sometimes six years if they did both their undergrad and graduate work. Um, we've done a lot of stuff this year. We've, we, we started out a year playing at a, they're, they're refurbishing the band shell over in the Long Beach Rec Park. We played a concert over there. We did a concert at Esperanza High School called The Count Meets the Duke, and we were the Count Basie Band, and they were the Duke Ellington group. Uh, we just got back from uh, Las Vegas, where we did the Las Vegas Jazz Invitational. And of course, as I mentioned a couple times, we're playing with the Tom Kubis Band tomorrow, which we're really excited about. 
and we'll end our year. Actually, the year will end before this concert, but the guys are sticking around town, the out-of-towners, to play a concert with Wayne Bergeron and Vinny DiMartino at the International Trumpet Guild on uh, May 23rd or 8th, somewhere, end of May. Anyway, uh, without any further ado, I would like each of these people, let's, let's wait till I announce all of their names and you guys can all stand up at the same time so we can receive your applause. Uh, we're gonna be losing this year, at the end of the year, pianist Sam Ross, Joshua Childress, Alex Louie, Luke Christ, Noah Avila, Alyssa Curiel, Andrew Rosenblum, oh, it's gonna be a whole new band next year, I'll tell you, Cooper Ayulo and Michael Wise. Folks, would you stand up and accept our applause? And right now, as they're enjoying your applause, they're all thinking, I'm so glad to be getting out of here. I just can't, I've been here for so long. No, I'm, it's been a pleasure to work with them all. And thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for all the work you've done. You've, uh, you made us all look good. So thank you so much, all of you. Well, we've got another uh, award. Now, this award has not been chosen yet, but it's uh, a person that I've nominated for this award. It's called the Distinguished Achievement in Creativity Act, or Creative Activity Award. And even though they have men selected, I still want to recognize this person because he's made incredible contributions to our department, and I'm sure you'll agree with me that he's deserving of this. Our lead tenor saxophonist, Joshua Childress. You'll be dearly missed, believe me. So, well, one last thing, and this is this is an award that was already given at the beginning of the year. It's actually a scholarship, but I wanted to recognize this person because he's been my right hand man. He's somebody that I, I'm completely confident that from mirroring me through the the years that he's been the the graduate assistant here, it's the Bo and Joe Grant, uh, France Scholarship uh, Graduate Scholarship Award winner. He's going to be able to superintend his own jazz program at a college someday if that's what he chooses to do, and he's been very valuable to me. Please recognize one of our drummers, Ryan Dong. And the last young man that I would like to uh, honor is uh, Ernie Watts. Welcome back to the stage, Ernie.
to thank Jeff Jarvis for bringing me here, for working on all of this music and working with all these great young musicians. And I uh, wanted to let you know that you're witnessing a very important part of our culture. We're keeping something going and we're keeping something manifesting that is very and very important for us in our life, which is individuality. Individuality, creative individuality. People having a choice, people doing the things that they love, playing music that they love, playing the way that they love to play, which is totally individual and which everybody has a right to, a right to hear the things they hear, and play the things they feel. And so uh, this is a very special environment here, the creative environment of music. Very, very special because there's so many things that are so much like everything else you see that sometimes we get a little numbed out, you know? Sometimes we get a little passive and uh, it's very nice to know that we have an atmosphere of creativity and striving and learning. And I uh, want to thank all of you for being here, working on your music, and working on your individual voice in a creative form of art. And uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for partaking in all of this because we work together to make this continue. We work together to make this energy continue. And if we don't put forth the effort to open up our hearts and open up our spirits for this music to come through, then it gets harder and harder. It will, because what we are is spirit. What we come from is spirit. So the spirit will always strive and the spirit will always carry on. But it's very nice to know that we're in an environment of support for the individual art form. So thank you for being here. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for practicing and working on the discipline of what it takes to do what we do. You know, people look at musicians and they say, oh yeah, they're just out having a party. 
you know, they go out, they have a party, they go out and they have a really good time, and they jam with their friends, and it's really, a, you know, they're having a nice time. But you can't believe the amount of work it takes to learn to play one of these gadgets, you know? They're really hard. These things are hard to play. And so you have to spend a certain amount of dedicated time or nothing pleasant will come out of them. So thank you for being here. I mean, all of that's well and good if you like music. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going to finish up the program. I got over here to credits because we have here. A few people are going to play on this. We're going to finish with a uh, classic that's called Softly as in a Mor Morning Sunrise, and of course, it'll feature Ernie. You're going to hear a lot from Ryan Dong, from Andrew Rosenblum, from Brandon Baroon for the first time today. And also for the first time today, Lou Christ and Sam Ross on piano. This is softly as in a morning sunrise. And Ernie, thank you very much for everything you've given us, not only in the terms of music and the wonderful playing, but the philosophy that you've projected and the educational experience you've given us. It hasn't been just a rehearsal and a guest artist. It's been an artist in residency and a real experience for us. So God bless you and thank you.
Ernie Watts.